Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be installing a few small parts on the car that are not worth making a whole video about. Um, I got them in a pile of parts from a friend's uh, 4th gen shuttle or hatchback, both of them. So now I'm gonna install a few, like this broken clip here and the missing seal, things like that. So I'm gonna take care of this today and I'm gonna bring along for the ride. So the first thing is this uh, edge protector thing. It usually comes on like this, onto the front of the hood. Usually clips on the hood like this. And it looks stupid if you ask me, because, uh, well, it looks stupid on a white car. So I'm just gonna clip it under the white part, so it seems nice. Uh, and the second thing that comes in there is this long ass seal that runs uh, all the way across the hood, on both lights, like this, all the way across the other side. And it's, it's held in by these little like um, triangular clip things that clip into these holes. First comes the edge protector and second come, comes the seal. And before I do that, I'm gonna rub the seal with silicone grease, just to condition it a bit. So here I have my Shinetsu silicon grease. I'm just gonna apply rub into the seal. All right, so moving up onto the hood and just start with the center two holes, I guess. This one. I'm really hard getting there. It's yeah, ridiculously hard to get in there. Ah, these are easier. These are easy, these ones aren't. This is looking nice. I like it. Looks OEM. It's fucked. Moving on to is this clip. That's clearly broken. It doesn't, you know, do shit. I'm gonna take it off. It's supposed to be like this. Because they have clips on the side and it doesn't. Yeah. In you go. Works. Maybe I should reroute this whole thing, I don't know. Seems alright as it is. So moving on. Next item is this intake tube, which you probably can't see, but it's broken off here. In here. And I just kind of silly coming back, it'll probably break as soon as I touch it. Now these fixtures are probably pretty sturdy because the guy I took this off, um, he actually had his radiator break at this point. So this broke, not the tube, which is insane. So I'm gonna take these screws off, put a tube in, it's not broken, probably nicer, and that's it. This is it, this didn't take tube, but this is where it was broken, see all the boxy It'll probably break off the second I touch it, but I won't because um, I want to sell this for like really cheap. I wonder if the one from the shuttle is the same. And it is! Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, the whole length. Which is interesting because the shuttle has a uh, 1.6 single overhead cam engine making 115 horsepower, and this has the double overhead cam 1.6 D series making 130. And it's the same intake tube, which you know, whatever, but. Kind of funny. I'm gonna go clean this one up and I'll be right back. So here's the new tube, all cleaned up and nice, it's not scratched up like the old one. Feed it in carefully. Okay, like that. Ta da! There we go. New intake tube. Very nice looking. It's all the major work under the hood done. We got the seal installed, all nice, shiny. We got the new intake tube being all nice and shiny and we got this fixed this annoyed me way too much so let's pop the hood down now you can see nice black seal in there going around black line underneath all looking very spiffy and nice next up i'm gonna put some stickers on there so i'll put on uh, these two stickers one's um, a pair of coconuts it's a custom sticker I had made. So the second one is this. Um, I think it's turned around this way. I want the text. I want it here. I want it on this. 
Yeah, I think this is definitely where I want the text. So I'm gonna remove this sticker and put this one under here. I have this um, box cutter blade. So I remove this sticker. Man, this is annoying as shit. Another reason why it's good to put stickers on glass and not on paint, you can use just straight paint thinner to wipe off all the leftover shit. This is 100% clean surface now. Put a stickers on. That's this. Decal. I guess this is a decal, not a sticker, right? Because I'm peeling off the backing. That's how you know they're reasonably fresh. Because they come off nicely. If they don't come off nicely, they're not. Uh, fresh stickers, they're old stock or they've been laying around for a while in the heat. Can I get this just right? That's really nice. I like that. Put the third one up here because I still have like five of these extra if I don't like it anymore. This one's a very high quality one. Mm, it's rubberized vinyl sticker and it comes up off in one piece and you can just peel it off and put it on something else more or less. Uh, it's not a decal, it's a proper sticker. So that's it for this video where I do small stuff on my car. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully, when I do something actually meaningful, a project of some sorts. Take care.